A UW conference disruption included more than one person exposing themselves to attendees. Tony Galley reports on reaction to extreme tactics. At the Fluno Center, the weekend conference to discuss the history of black conservatism seemed to be a straightforward academic enterprise. The symposium panel featured national leaders and thinkers from the movement. The conference here staged by the UW Center for the Study of Liberal Democracy involved about 50 people attending in person here, but there was a passcode to enable participants to attend virtually, and some apparently used it to disrupt the conference graphically. In connection with planned Q&A sessions with the audience, the first disruption was profane and featured a slur. Mute your, uh, Shut the up, you Shut the up, you Conference organizer, UW political science professor Ryan Owens explains why panelists reacted to what followed. Oh, wow. <laughs> then we started to see images pop up on the screen. Um, you know, the first image was, was one man who put the camera up and exposed himself. Owens says others online did the same. A UW spokesperson condemns the actions and says officials and police are reviewing what happened. One panelist called it cowardice. So they decided they were not going to protest us here or risk themselves. They get online where they can hide. We, we did have a child in the audience on top of you know, just the decorum and, and, and you know the lunacy of the whole thing. It really just exposes, I think, the intolerance that exists in our, our culture today. On the UW-Madison campus, Tony Galley, 27 News. One panelist appeared virtually and had to be cut out of the conference when the disruptions happened as the online component was shut down.